Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now for those of you who don't recognize this, this is Soy Pothole or Soy Chai Poon 25 and we're going to go to a bar I've never been in before and many of you guys have never been in and that is the Pothole Bar on the right hand side here. Now a lot of you know what it is or what it used to be but it's now been changed because it's been bought by Woody uh, who was a manager before of uh, a bar on Soy 6 and he's completely changed it and it's like a hybrid bar now uh, it's going to be a gents club it's going to be a, a bar which sells food and bar which sells drink and also sells happy leaf as well so it will not allow smoking at all in on the premises Okay, so Woody, you've taken over the pothole. Yes, it's took over the pothole about a week ago now. Right, right. And uh, I mean, the obvious question is, is it going to stay exactly as it was, or are you going to expand it and do more things? Um, it's like not going a, a gents club or a, a more of a, a bar than, than what it was before? Yeah, we are going to change the concept over the next few months. Um, heading not so much gentleman's club, but definitely a more relaxed lounge type feel, much closer to a gentleman's club feel. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah keep yeah. the idea as being primarily a bar. Right, okay. Hi, and what's your name? My name Apple. Apple? Yes. Right, okay. You're going to be the boss here, the new boss? Not, not boss. <laughs> <laughs> boss for <Wally. laughs> Right, I think you're going to be in charge, right? <laughs> I know this, right? So you're going to have girls here as well? Uh, yes, we are. We've got uh, one lovely lady working here at the moment. We're uh, busy hunting to find some more coming. Right. Yeah, absolutely, we'll have some girls here for... It's not easy to find girls alone, so I understand. No, no, I think yeah. everybody struggles to find yeah, ladies for working yeah, at the moment. You have to pay a fair amount of money for them as well. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, but that, that's the price of doing business. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, most people know this place as what's called a happy leaf bar. Yes. Which is not focused on that anymore, is it? You're still going to do it, as I understand it, from what I see over there. But uh, it, it, it's re you really want to get a more normal crowd in, don't you? Yes, absolutely we do. We're, we're concentrating on building up the, the bar side of it and getting yeah. the customers in to enjoy the time here, you know, some good entertainment. Yeah. Um, letting that happy leaf side kind of take care of itself a little bit more yes. and um, yeah, focus on just bringing people in to have a great time. And I mean, the other thing which people would be concerned about, and I was originally when I first saw it, was that um, I wouldn't want to be in a place which, where they were smoking that yes. because of the smell. So that is not going to be allowed at all, is it? You won't be allowed to smoke that that happy leaf in here. No, no, in the bar area, absolutely, there'll be no smoking of it. And um, I'm, I'm the same as you. I don't like the smell of it myself. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people have commented on that. Yes. So we want to keep it as comfortable for everybody. So Good. absolutely no smoking. That's, I think that's quite important, yes. to be honest. To make it clear to everyone that it's now no longer what it was. It's now been changed. That's right, yes. Yeah. Okay. It needs to be clear, because that was one reason I wouldn't come in. Yep. And many people think like me. You know, so we, we need to dispel that completely. Ab ab absolutely we do, and I understand why a lot of people thought it would, it would be like that, but yeah, the, the concept is different. It has been for a while since before we took over, but we'll keep it that way. Yeah. Now, you've run a bar before. Yes, I have. I've been working on the Soy 6 for about the last year and a half, so I yeah. um, just recently left Hollywood Bar on Soy 6. Yeah. You, you know, Trevor yes, from Hollywood quite yes, well. Yes. Um, but the time was right to move on and step up and try and do it. Well, right. everyone has to do that. Everyone has to do that. Yeah. So, um, you, uh, you've got it now one week? Yes, about one week. Yeah. Okay. So, what, what sort of um, times are you going to be opening and closing? Yeah, so, at the moment, our opening times are midday to midnight. Yeah. Um, as we start heading into high season, we might extend that a little bit, but for the moment, we'll keep it the same. Yeah. And uh, you've got a, a pool table here. Yes, you do. Nice eight-foot pool table. Very nice. Nice quality. So, are you going to be doing like killer pool and things like that? Um, um, yes, we're looking at that at the moment, and possibly what we're going to call the Sunday session, which will be right. killer pool in the afternoon, followed by some live entertainment to, to kick off into the evening. Um, right. Hoping to do that on on Sundays, as I said. We're just making sure we're not competing against anybody else in the area at the moment and getting a good entertainment. 
Yeah, I mean, there are a few places in the, the pool league, aren't there? So you, you, you can get lots of different people coming in from the pool, and then they'll think, oh, this is nice, and maybe come back. You know, it, it's a way to draw people in to show people your place. Your place. Yeah. yeah, and we're also looking at getting a pool team together to join one of the local weekly pool leagues as well. Um, that'll probably take a little bit longer because we need to find some players. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, tell me, what's the most difficult thing about running a bar in Patio? <laughs> if you'd asked me that a few weeks ago, I would have said the same thing as Trevor, and it was keeping control of all the ladies in the bar. Yes. Um, he uh, uses the terms like herding cats, and I agree. It can be. <laughs> Having taken over a new bar at the moment, it's learning of the little bits and pieces, learning where to get your supplies from, learning you know where to get your uh, your builders from. Um, yes. And then obviously uh, finding ladies to work here. Yeah. Well, yeah, I would imagine that's. <laughs> That's the number one. Uh, you, you're going to do food, aren't you? Uh, yes, we currently have some food at the moment, so more just, it, just is this, bar food. Is this your food menu? Yes, that's the current food menu. Yeah. It is, yeah. Okay. Are oh, you doing burgers? All right. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I've tried a few of the items at the venue myself, and I have to say, not too bad at all. Yeah. Are so you doing cocktails? Yep. 180. Okay. Hoping to expand the cocktail menu soon. We've got someone coming in to train the ladies how to make some different ones properly. Yeah. Cool. Another cool. Uh, another piece of variety compared to a lot of the bars on the side. Uh, do you, uh, you you have a Facebook page? Yes, we do have a Facebook. What's page the name of it? It's uh, the Pothole Cafe and Bar. The Pothole Cafe and Bar on Facebook. And um, do you have an Instagram page? Yes, we do. Which is the, again just called the, the Pothole. The pot the potholder tire, yeah. The potholder tire. Okay. Now, uh, as I understand it, you've got the whole building. Yes. Not just downstairs. You have the whole thing. Yes, we do. Yeah. So you will be um, having guest rooms and things that, that, as time goes on, when you when you get the chance to work on the roof. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, upstairs at the moment is a, a bomb shelter. Yes. Um, but yeah, we are planning on renovating that in the next yeah. two or three months. Well, I mean, with other bars that I've done, um, people, the, the viewers have enjoyed looking at a place when it was a bomb, <laughs> bomb hit it, you know? And then seeing the, the change, you know? So, I mean, we can have a look upstairs if it's okay. Yes, absolutely. And just, just show you, so people understand the sort of challenges you've got, yeah. you know? Yeah, not sort of, yeah it give, gives people an idea, <laughs> doesn't it, you know, of what you've got to do. Yes, absolutely. It was yeah. definitely a shock when I saw it yeah. for the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, let's... Uh, have a wander upstairs and have a look at what you've got upstairs, and then we'll come back and have a little look round here as well. Yeah, no problem. At all. Yeah. But for, uh, well, but first of all, before we go upstairs, uh, you've got—I mean, you've got sofas and tables here, haven't you? Yes. Uh, you, you go in. Yeah. That's like a gentleman's club idea, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so we have a, a few different ideas for how to fix up this space at the moment. Um, one of them is to put in uh, a few more sofas and have that kind of gentleman's club feel to the seating. Yes. Um, the other one is, is to put more standard uh, bar bench style seating along one side and on the other side have the low tables. We'll probably experiment with a few different ideas and see what feels most comfortable. Um, definitely one or two more couches though because people would I like to so. relax on them. I yeah. think so. I think that's a good idea. Especially if you're having girls working here. Exactly right, yes. You know? that, I think so. You've got a decent side bar, haven't you? Yeah, the bar area is a very nice space. Yeah. So, uh, and do you have a, a price list for the drinks? The normal drinks? Uh, did, did uh, we, we don't have a price list made up yet for the normal drinks. That's oh, something I'm, okay. I'm in the middle of creating at the moment. So, what price is your Leo and Chang? Uh, our beer, a bottle of beer, 85 bars. Bottle of beer is 85 but bars. Leo or Chang? Happy hour is uh, 70 bars. 70 bars in happy hour. What time does happy hour start? Start uh, 12 o'clock to 7 p.m. 12 until 7. Well, it's good for your hours. More than one hour. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> More than one hour. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and what about things like whiskey and things like that and what have you? you, you, you what price, do you know what price you're going to be charging for like a... Uh, a whiskey and coke, or? Uh, so like a, a standard like Sang Song, for example, yeah, is, yeah. is 70 baht. Oh, okay. 70 baht is quite moment. cheap, isn't it? It's quite yeah. cheap, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you look at your things like your Johnny Walker or your Jack Daniels, um, yeah. can't remember the prices for that at the moment, 
All right. We're completely new product release from okay. a week ago. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere around the 130 baht mark from memory, but I can't quite remember. And what will be the lady drink price? 140 baht. 140? Okay, yeah. so you're 10 baht below most people. Yes. Which is good. <laughs> Right, okay, can we have a look at your, your place upstairs? Absolutely, like before yeah. we go, we've also got the draft beer on tap. Oh, right, so. you've got draft, of course, you've got Heineken and Tiger on draft. Okay. Tiger, yeah. Right, tell me, well, what sort of price are you charging for that? For draft beer, we have a happy hour too. Big, big class is uh, 99 baht for happy hour. Okay. After that, small class, 70 baht. Okay. And big class, 120. Okay, all right. Very good. Quite reasonable price, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People like uh, beer stock, don't they? You know, people like yes, it. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll, we'll see over the next few months how they sell. Maybe we might change one of them out to something else that seems more yeah. popular. Um, thinking about adding Guinness as well. Yeah, the only problem with Guinness, as I understand it, is you, you've got to sell a lot of it. Yes, the otherwise kick, it goes off. It goes off in about 11 yeah. days. So yeah. It's yeah. So I mean, you really need to wait until you've got a lot of customers before you can be doing that. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I've been told that by lots of bar owners. You know, you know I, I don't mind a good pint or two of Guinness myself. And, yeah. Um, in in my previous bar, we were quite big on a drink called the Carbon. Oh um, yeah. Which is. Yeah, half a pint of Guinness with some other stuff in it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a party of people coming in here, it might be worthwhile having <laughs> Guinness drinkers and Guinness drinkers. <laughs> That reminds me, when I used to go to the nightclubs years ago in England, we used to have Carlsberg Special was a particularly strong drink. And if you ever came late and you had to catch up, you'd get a Carlsberg Special and a whiskey and throw it in the... <laughs> and drink the two together. <laughs> Just so you can catch up to everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Right, so um, we'll have a little look upstairs, shall we? Absolutely. Oh, you've also got a table, a f football table. Yeah, we've got the table soccer I'm not sure what we're going to say. No, no. That's a bit of fun. Yeah. And I'll just uh, show what you have there. And you're going to have uh, sports on the televisions, aren't you? Uh, yes, we are. Yes, yeah. we are. So um, we've got a little bit of support at the moment. The, the plan is this week to upgrade the package so we can show all the Premier League, all right. the F1, right. MOGP, NRL for all the Aussies. AFL. Very good. I have something different on each TV. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. 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 Good. So which way is upstairs? Upstairs is this way. Just had to mute the sound for a minute because the TV upstairs was was playing uh, copyrighted music, so Woody's just uh, closed the sound, just muted it. Okay. Um, this is just a little mezzanine area at the moment, which previously was being used for anybody that wanted to uh, to smoke. All right. Yes. So. Um, oh, that's a, a window. I didn't realise. Can actually see downstairs. All oh, right. So again, we've got a few different ideas for playing stuff here. Um, one of the ideas is to maybe make this more of a definite gentleman's club area with a few caps in the corner, yes. something curtains, things like that. Well, I didn't know this was here. <clears throat> I mean, you could easily have four sofas if you wanted to, couldn't you? Four, if you want, and, and curtains. And curtains, yeah. yeah absolutely. You could do that. The, the other idea, I don't know how well it would work, would be to split the room into two and keep a smaller section for people who wanted to, to, to have a smoke and then have the other side. But noises could be a problem with that. Smell could be a problem with that. So yeah, we, we'd have to look into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I talked to you, but I wouldn't even think about having people smoking. Yeah, yeah. I think the smell is too strong. Too strong, yeah. It, it will go everywhere, you know. Yeah, that's it. So, but we'll, we'll, we'll look at it, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how busy the room is, see yeah. what people want, you know, get customer feedback. And get yeah. Back. Okay, so this is a good room. I didn't know this was here. Yeah. Also, another, another good use of this room as well would be for if people want to have like a, a private party or, you know, whatever else we can 
Yes. Quite easy to put a small little bar in there up here and you know, they can party away on the Yes, 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 yes. And you've got a dedicated TV, we'll put a small little stereo in and yeah, away they go. Very useful, very useful yes. room. All right, now let me see if I can find which thing this is. <laughs> okay. Yes. It is quite dark up here. Yeah. Oh, I think it's sunlight. shows what work you've got to do, doesn't it? It does, yeah. But it's, it's all useful space, I mean. It's quite a, quite a big area that we can make some good use out of. It's just... This is very strange, is it? Is it? Really? Okay. Yeah, I'm told the, the, the previous tenants of the building before the pothole was created, it was a, a bar for a pot man, which was, from what I understand, like a, a gay go-go bar stuff set up. Well, this could be a useful room. You know, you've got, you've actually got rooms the right size, haven't you? Yeah, the size of them isn't too bad. A couple of them would be enough to make guest rooms, and the rest of them we can redo for accommodation for the ladies and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. And those little areas are for showers, aren't they? Yes, yes, that, that's one good thing for us to have the plumbing's already in place. So yes. It just takes out one cost and one length of time. Yes. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. And then you know, above this, there's another full level which is in about the same state. Yes. And then there's the rooftop which has some, a small little condo building on it. But yeah. They're all in about the same condition as this. Very good. Well, you've got a lot of space, you can do all sorts of things with this. Yeah, that's really it. Really, haven't you? Yeah. Great. Very good. Just need to make some money first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's down here? Right. You, you've got everything you need, haven't you? you it's just up to you to bring the customers in. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Make those minor improvements, bring some customers in. Yeah. Um, funnily enough, one of the things I like most about the place is we've got nice, big, clean toilets. Yeah. And it's been one of the things that all the customers we have had and have commented on is that the toilets are nice and big and clean. So right. Obviously, <laughs> obviously makes, it makes a difference to a lot of customers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Very good. Right, well, we'll uh, get the video out there and tell people to come. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but the fact that the, it's, it's got a single door, a, a bit like a gents club, you know, is uh, some people may may think it, um, it's, it, it, they can't. It's not like a normal bar, but it is. They can just walk in. Walk in, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's what they need to understand. But well, we've just ordered a ordered a bench table to go outside for some ladies to sit. Yes, at that's a great idea. Right. Uh, yeah. Getting some lights ordered to go outside as well. So at night they're showing on the road, similar yeah. to what some other bars have done with the logo on it. Yeah. A few more things to make it more visible that yes, we're open, yes, you can walk in. Right. Great. Okay. Well, thanks very much. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> I shall go. I'll go across the road and have a look at what Amman's done with her bar. <laughs> yeah, I haven't popped in and had a look yet, but I should go and say hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, I shall see you soon. Right, excellent. Right. Thank okay. you very much for coming. Bye bye. Appreciate that. Bye. 
So what do you think about that place then, eh? I think it's really nice inside, lovely place. So we're just going to go across the road now, uh, down the road and across the road, to Ammons Bar. And the reason we're going to Ammons Bar is because she's also changing her bar a little bit. And if you remember with our Ammons Bar, it's a double unit. And the right-hand unit, they never took the wall down. So it actually still is separate. Now what she said she was doing is putting um, a, a glass door uh, and wall across the front across the right hand side so that it, it's it's properly air conditioned and also she said she may turn it into, into a bit of a gents club idea where the right she, the right hand side will have all the all the tables and chairs gone put sofas in and have it like a gents club idea that's what she was saying she may do but she hasn't made her mind up but I just wanted to show you it's going to be changed <laughs> and it'll be air-conditioned as well so and you may have another little mini gents club there <laughs> anyway guys if you like uncut videos of soy six etc and uh, uh, no adverts on the videos please have a look at patreon and thank you for watching and please subscribe like share and ring the bell see you on the next one